UPMC announced layoffs today across its 40 hospital system, half of which are in southwestern Pennsylvania. The health giant cites ongoing post-pandemic struggles, but insists the job cuts will not affect patient care. Shelley Bortz has more from Oakland. The overall cuts represent about 1% of its 100,000 employees. While 1% doesn't seem like a lot, it affects 1,000 employees. Oh, that's pretty bad and sad. Nearly 1,000 employees of UPMC's workforce got the news today they were out of a job. UPMC blames continued post-pandemic challenges that has affected the healthcare industry nationwide. The news, though, isn't sitting well with many people we talked with. It's horrible. It's, I feel bad for the people with families and, you know, trying to pay their bills. It's hard for everyone right now, so I can't imagine, you know, not being out of job. UPMC says the cuts are primarily taking place among non-clinical and administrative staff through attrition, closing of open positions, and elimination of redundancies. The job's a job. People need work. In a statement, Paul Wood, vice president and chief communications officer, says in part, this realignment will not alter UPMC's investments in our communities, facilities, commitment to clinical care. Because these decisions will be difficult for affected employees, enhanced severance pay and benefits coverage is being provided. The healthcare giant reported a $198 million operating loss in 2023, which is down from an operating operating income of 163 million the previous year. No word though how much these current reductions will save Allegheny County's largest employer. It's honestly sad because our economy is struggling enough, but here there's these people in here that all of a sudden they lose their job. UPMC's total operating revenue for 2023 was $27.7 billion. Reporting in Oakland, Shelley Bortz, KDKA TV News.